Hey everybody, welcome back to Beach House Bees. Today, we have an extraction. There's some bees living up, coming right in and out of that eave right there. And uh, we're really gonna try hard on this one, not to, do, not to do any demolition to the exterior of the home. There's a attic space up there, just behind this wall. And we can hear the bees humming through the wall, right in that, right in this cubby right here next to the window, there's a little space and we can hear the bees up in the attic there. So we're gonna break open the wall from the inside and uh, we're hoping that by coming in from the inside, we can preserve the exterior of the home so there's no damage there, but we can still get all the bees out. Might be a little bit more tricky, but that's why we're here filming it and hopefully it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah, so you can hear them right here. I'm, I'm a first timer. Oh, me too. They're all in there. Might be a one timer. <laughs> My theory is that once we break this part here, maybe it's a one timer. They're going to be kind of in the triangle framing. Yeah. And so they might, they should be pretty easy to access. Hopefully that's all they are. All right, guys, we are here in the attic space. There's just this small little room, which is kind of handy considering the location of where those bees are. Uh, I think we're going to be able to get right to them. Um, we took the, the door off of this wall, and here's where the window was. Um, but in listening to the walls, we can hear them humming on the other side of the lath and plaster here. So it's going to be a bit of a demo job from the inside, but it's going to make a lot of dust and mess. But hopefully we can get the bees put into here. Today James is helping us. He's getting all the frames prepped with rubber bands. And we've got another helper here today. What was your name? Tim. Tim. Tim is helping us also. And then of course you guys know Jamin. Yep. You can check him out on Haven Permaculture. Uh, are you filming a video for this today or no? Um, I'll have little snippets and close-ups from my perspective. Okay. Uh, might not be a big video, but sort of a mashup. Cool, sounds good. That is a big hive. That's a good Affect smoke. Them. That's a really good smoke, but I want it to go out. All right, check this out. Wow, they all went right into there. This one's big. Oh man, this is a huge colony. They've been here for years. I can tell you that right now. But I had a feeling when we saw them from the outside that this was a big one. Okay guys, so we got <clears throat> a good chunk of that removed and exposed. Um, I just crawled out and re Michael replaced me in there for some of the demo, so let me give you a this close up. This is definitely the biggest one we've done. See all that right there? If you could get, get a good look at that, that is actually wax moths. Mm. And uh, it looks like they were a problem at one point, but the bees took care of it. It's all covered in wax and propolis, like they've just sealed it in there. All right, how's it coming in here? It took is. a little break to let it air out, because it was so dusty. It's feeling a little better. A little bit more breathable air. Uh-huh, yep. Got a little oxygen in my lungs now instead of plaster dust. And let me show you this as soon as I can get my camera to work here. Oh, there they are. Woo. Look how they're hanging like clusters like that. They're just bearding. That's a lot of bees. So we could just even scoop those bees, but they won't want to stay in that box. Well, they'll stay in the box better than nothing. Yeah. This is going to be one of those times where I'm looking at the footage afterwards and I see the queen. <laughs> but in the moment, I couldn't see her. So there is lots of bees. How many bees do you think is in here? This is easily a 60 or 70,000 
a bee colony? 60 or 70,000 bees. That is a lot. It's a very, very, uh, very strong colony here, but it's been here for probably at least several years at the yeah, very least. Absolutely. So what do you think? Do you want to grab one of these bins and just like use the brush and just like brush everything into the bin and then I'll dump it into the hive or do you want to try something else? So I think we should just go ahead and get the bees. Or just, just want to scoop the bees with your hand? Well, right into the, right into the bin. In the bin, okay. Brushing them into the bin. Okay. I think is going to be the best way to do it. We have got all the comb and bees exposed here and we let them breathe for a little while so now they're all kind of hanging and clustering together, covering up the comb. But we're going to start, I'm going to just scrape all the bees into this bin right here and we're going to dump them in the bee box. And hopefully they'll stay clustered but instead of in here, inside the bee box so I can take them home. So, but we're also going to kind of be keeping in a close eye just in case the queen's hanging around in here so we can make sure to grab her too. That would be really ideal. Okay. That is a lot of bees. See how they're all hanging out now? They're all just standing there fanning. They're sending out pheromones. Yeah, that's a good sign. They're not leaving anymore. They left just briefly, but now they're all kind of hanging out saying, all right, maybe, hey, everybody come in here. Maybe the queen's in there, you know? Yeah. Who knows? But that's, they're not continuing to scatter and take flight, which is really, really nice. Actually. Yeah, they did at first quite a bit. Alright, let's see what we got here. How's it going out there? Good. Okay. They're crawling all over the ground, mostly. Alright, I think I'm about, I have... about ready here. We're, they're flying all over right now. Oh no, we won't know yet. Coming out. Coming out. Uh, uh, that was stinging me bad. We're gonna get you. Oh, all over the arms. Whew. Get in your glove. Uh, yeah. There's nowhere to escape. <laughs> but they keep they keep getting me through my glove, or it feels like I'm. I did the same thing to me. I've never had them do that before. These guys are vengeful little bugs. Can I get some light? Hey, I got a lot of those bees, man. You did? I mean, this comb is pretty exposed now. Good. Nice, nice. Looking good cluster up there. All right, I'll get out of here. And then I'm gonna douse the smoker. Then I'll just start throwing honey in this bin right here. Okay. Bears coming out. Money, honey. Beautiful brood, though. Yeah. Good. Good pattern. There's larvae in these in these cells. Oh. Oh yeah. So yeah very she, young larva. So she could be right here. She could be close. Keep a close watch for her. This is where she's likely to be if we're gonna if we're gonna spot her at all. It's gonna be here. Okay. <laughs> After hours in the attic, we filled up this, check this out you guys, this entire bin 
is completely filled with honey. And if you look at the side, you can see the honey level, the liquid level is over halfway full of honey. And uh, we've got two Langstroth hive boxes full of bees and brood comb. And we're just gonna strap them up and take them outside and hope we got the queen. Take a deep breath and fresh air. <laughs> I think I probably got stuck at least 15 times, uh -huh. maybe more. I just got my fifth, so okay. I haven't caught up yet. You haven't lost track yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, but uh, we'll catch you guys outside and we're just going to wrap it up and I think we're done here. <laughs>